Rex, I'm sorry I keep calling, but have you found Shane yet? I'm worried sick here. Oh, I hope that is. Please let it be soon. Vicky, uh, I thought that you were uh, still with Charlie in your motel room. No, Charlie and I are done. I came to deal with you. So what is it, Vicky? You here to slap me around some more? I'm concerned about Shane. Is he still missing? I don't know. Rex and Gigi left to go to the school because they heard that he'd been there recently, but I haven't heard anything yet. Well, I pray that he comes home safe very soon. And when he does, I want you off my property permanently. I'm here for one reason. Rex and my grandson live here, and I'd like to stick by them. By all means, you stick by them to your heart's content anywhere but here. Well, that's going to be kind of limiting. Yes, yes, it is going to be limiting, especially for one who's so concerned with family unity. Isn't it lovely that your family values coexist so nicely with your compulsion to sleep with my husband? Vicky, please, just wait. Can I explain one thing? No, there is only one explanation for this. You are a devious, selfish whore. And you've destroyed my marriage and broken my home. You can call me whatever you want if it makes you feel better. It doesn't. I never set out to hurt you, Vicky. What happened with Charlie just happened, and I am truly sorry. Sorry? You're not sorry. That's a lie. The minute you set foot in this town, your priority was Charlie. You wormed your way into my home. Nothing was off limits for you. You used your son, your grandson, your drinking to gain his sympathy. Don't tell me it just happened. It was very deliberate on your part. Again. And you got him. Congratulations. Ew! Big difference, Echo. He wasn't married when I met him. I know. Didn't stop you, did it? I tried. I tried to keep it from happening. Did you really? Then I have to wonder what constitutes trying in your book. Any honorable, decent person would have walked away. Well, that wasn't an option for me. I had to rebuild so much with Rex and with my grandson, and Charlie did too. Rex was like a new lease on life for us. I mean, we both knew what it was like to lose a child. Don't you go presume to tell me what it's like to lose a child. I lost a daughter. She died. Charlie lost his son, Jared. He died. You never lost a child. You threw him away. You dumped him because it was too bloody and convenient to raise. Which why I am not going to walk away this time. I did it once, and I'll die before I do that to Rex again. And Rewriting history is so easy, isn't it, Echo? Reuniting with your family? It's not what brought you here. It was Charlie. Don't bother to apologize, because what you did was not okay. Well, I'm flawed, Vicky. But you know what? Charlie is too. Which is probably why we connected. Which is also why maybe, in the end, he chose me. We're not all perfect like you. Echo. This is our last conversation. Ever. As soon as Shane is safely home, you are going to collect whatever belongs to you here, and you're going to get out, and you will never come back. I don't ever want to see your blind face on my property again. Is Shane all right? No, he's not okay, Echo. But he will be. I think this might take a while. But whatever it is, we're all going to help him get better. As a family. I love you. Thank you for staying. Call me. <laughs>